What's good, you guys? Instagram played me, but I got something saucy for you guys. For everybody on this right now, I'm about to give y'all a free credit repair class. I'm about to give y'all some sauce on some of the things that you can begin doing and some of the things that you want to avoid when it comes to you improving your credit. <clears throat> so if you're new here, my name is Mikel Bennett. I've helped thousands of people be able to clean up their credit and I want to be able to help you. Okay. It's March. It's my mom's birth uh, month. So it's going to be big. So look, let me, ex I'll, give me one second to explain everybody. Let me know where y'all tapping in from, what y'all got going on. What's going on, Stephanie? We love you. So, give me one second to explain. So look, y'all. I tell people all the time, like, I don't like to really rap in the DMs, you know, extensively. If anything, we'll take it somewhere else. But, especially if and especially if you're a student, you literally can go write whatever your issues are inside of our Facebook group. I don't care what it is. We'll answer it, right? As long as you haven't been asking 10 questions a day, we will answer your questions. We will make sure that you got the answers that you need on your credit journey, right? But um, today I'm driving my pop to another eye doctor surgery or whatever, right? You getting that glaucoma um, handled or whatnot. Is that my mom? No, it's not. So, all right, bet. So, I'm driving him to the eye doctor today, and then I realized, oh, Dominique goes, yo, your Instagram saying you can't send a DM for the next 24 hours. So, I'm like, what the hell? Like, I don't even rem remember my conversations like that yesterday. But I have automated DMs that when you guys, if you're new here, you send me a DM, the word credit, it's gonna send you over the link to my free credit repair class, right? But today, since this shit is broken, I'm not able to send you guys that DM to give y'all that free credit class, right? So the first thing that you wanna do is, if you wanna get access to that free credit class, go over to my wife's page, Dominic Garris. Can you comment in there? I'm or something? Yeah, and I'm tagging my, everybody. Sorry, she doing, um. My pop got her doing lottery right now, y'all. It's crazy. He gave her three tickets and went in. He said, look, I can't see. I need you to handle this. So she playing a Powerball for him because if he hit it, we hit it, right? But <laughs> um, let me see. Yeah, so if you want access to that free class, head over to my wife's site, um, page and DM her the word credit. If you're somebody who wants to learn how we help people get access to, to funding, then DM her the word funding, right? You'll get all of the free links that you need, okay? Now, what I want to talk about is if you are, you know, you like, look, this March, I'm getting in the credit game. I'm working on my credit. I'm getting it right. I'm going to give you some pointers right here, right now, that you'll be able to take and implement on your journey, right? So through Discovery, her page is... Um, She's tagged in like almost every single video I do, but her name is Dominique. I am tagged in every single video. Dominique Garris Bennett. Okay. I'll comment. She'll comment real quick. Now, so what I am doing though is for every for all of the confusion X Y and Z, my mom's birthday is in two days, on the third. So I was going to give you guys a ten dollar off coupon for the action takers today, right? But instead, what I did was I made a thirteen dollar coupon. I just made this coupon for y'all. So all you got to do is use the word DM at the checkout if you purchase any of our courses or products, right? And you'll get $13 off. So can't say I ain't, I ain't trying to help you out. Instagram trying to do me dirty, and I'm trying to do y'all y'all clean. You feel me? She just commented just now right there, okay? I just, so I just was typing it. <laughs> well, it, it, just, it just says it right there. Well, it said I joined. That's what you saw. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She she's smart. <laughs> All right, so here we go, y'all. So five mistakes that ninety percent of people make when they're attempting to repair their credit. Okay, now let's go through these five mistakes because you want to make sure that you don't make these five mistakes. Listen, it is very very it is a very very smart thing to learn from other people's mistakes. But here's the thing: 
it don't got to be your mistakes. I'll tell you the mistakes that we made, okay? All right, so mistake number one is paying other people, okay? When we first attempted to repair our credit, Dominique tried first, and she went to a lady that was online, and she paid her $500 to fix her credit, and Dominique's credit was still trash after the next year, okay? Nothing happened. We couldn't get in communication with this lady. It was nothing but a pile of excuses, right? And I'm not blaming it all on her because we thought that we could just pay somebody and all of our problems would go away. But the truth was we had a huge lack of knowledge and a lack of information when it came to credit. So no matter what that lady did, because of our lack of knowledge, we would have still fucked it up, right? We didn't know anything about utilization. We didn't know anything about credit age. We didn't know anything about credit history. We didn't know how to read and examine a credit report. Guys, inside of my Credit Essentials Bundle, we teach you how to read a credit report like an expert. Better than the credit repair board that you last hired. I guarantee you that. If you got one of these and you know how to use it, because everybody got one of these. We know that. But not everybody know how to use it. And we know that as well, right? So if you got one of these and you know how to use it, I guarantee you I'll show you how to read and examine a credit report better than the last boy you hired. What's going on, Lewis? How you living today? I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the mood today, man. Instagram blocked me from being able to, to send out DMs and things like that. And, you know, that's my bread and butter with the DMs. So, look, I'm giving you all the game today. I'm giving y'all a coupon today, and if y'all still want that free stuff after this free stuff, y'all can go over to my white page and message her. So the coupon will be good until 11 or until noon tomorrow, because noon is when I found out, and it said I have 21 hours. So I don't know. The shit will probably be lifted at like 10 a.m. or something like that. So the coupon will be good until noon. Okay. So that that's the number one issue. Wait, until when? Noon. Noon when? Tomorrow. Oh, wanted to make sure it wasn't tonight because I was like, um. No, so um, the number one thing that the number one mistake is people try to pay other people to get rid of this problem. It's not that hard. Like, guys, you guys can memorize movies, recipes, uh, the, all of the Jordans, <laughs> lyrics. The, lyrics, you know, all of this stuff. Y'all, y'all know, y'all know all the scenes to Friday. Y'all know all the scenes to Rush Hour. You know, all your kids birthdays. Right. You know, you know, everybody birthday. Right. <laughs> But you don't you you'll say that you know what I don't got the time to sit here and learn something that's gonna take you and your family to the next level. Like Buddy said, you mean take care of your parents. Every single time, this is like been going like crazy the last few months. My dad has never had this poor of health, but it's just his eyes and stuff that he's working on. So every single time they ask me, can I take them to an appointment? Can I take them to appointments? Yes, every single time. Why? Because I'm an entrepreneur and I have freedom. I right cool and too. i want to be able to help y'all get that because if you get this skill set of being able to fix credit you too can obtain freedom just like key to 700 who joined here who is one of our students in the credit influencer academy and was able to get to five figures a month in literally just in two weeks less Mommy. less than two weeks y'all so if you want info on that dm my wife the word mentor and we can show you how to scale a credit business to 20k a month or more remember no DMs today. Everything is going. If you want to DM anybody, DM Dominique. I'm giving y'all is the code. Don't even go to the free class. The free class today. We getting active. We getting busy. We taking action. Go get the damn course. Use the coupon code. Get thirteen dollars off and start changing your life. Now let's move on to number two. Number two is they don't know what. Now when I say number two, we're talking about the five mistakes that most people make. Ninety percent of people make when attempting to repair their credit. So number two is they don't know what to dispute on their credit profile. Remember how I told you that I'll teach you how to read a credit report better than a boy that you hired last time, right? And when you do that, you will understand what to dispute. This is probably one of the reasons why I got my damn Instagram muted. Y'all keep fucking asking me what you should dispute. I don't know. It's your credit report. I'm going to teach you how to read a credit report and dissect it. Like, okay, this account is good. This account is bad. But you need to know, okay, when I remove this account, this is what's going to happen. Can I withstand that? If I do X, Z is going to happen. Is that a good move for me? Because 
everything that's a good move for you might not be a good move for me. What I'm trying to teach you is the mindset so that you can stop going around here asking strangers about information that's going to affect your family. I don't know you like that. I don't know you like that. No, you know we what don't I'm fix saying? Credit. I don't fix credit. No. Um, you can message uh, Key on here. Um, her name is Key to 700. You can message her and she'll help you out. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to give you all the mindset so that you, you're able to stop asking strangers about things that will affect your family. I think that is dumb because I'm not about to go ask somebody, yo, should I apply for this card? Knowing that I got two kids and a wife, a mom and a pop that depend on me, uh, a mother-in-law that depend on me, other people that depend on me. I'm not playing games. I'm not taking your word that's going to, uh, for my family, you could give me some games, some information, and I'm going to go do the research and make those decisions on my own. Right? Me not playing around. So that's number two. Let's move on to number three. Number three is they don't thoroughly understand the consumer laws to get remedy. So a lot of y'all calling the bureaus up, and they airing y'all out and flying y'all off the phone because y'all don't know what to say. You don't know how to stand your ground. I've said this many times. I've literally sat on Instagram, seen people go on live and get things removed because they're leveraging the consumer law. Or you're sending out disputes. They're coming back verified. And you, it's not about being a bully on the phone. You correct. Know, like you want to be respectful. You just want to know your rights. Correct. So we teach you the laws, right? Better than anybody I've ever seen. Like I've been trying to study and get taught the laws. Like I've literally, I literally would have hundreds of dollars in my pocket looking for people to give it to, to teach me consumer law. Guess what? I didn't pay not a single freaking person to learn consumer law because nobody really be diving deep into it. Nobody really be teaching it like that. They really be using the same BS templates. So what I did was we said, let's go to the consumer laws that people need to know and let's read them word for word all the way down to the bottom because we know 90% of y'all ain't going to do it. So we do it for you. And then we put together the template for you. So it's like, okay, this is the law. This is the template. I'm too lazy to even watch the video. I'm just going <laughs> to plug in the template and then still won't get the result. That's on you. But it'll work. Number four, let's move on. We're talking about the five things that most people, 90% of people, five mistakes 90% of people make when it comes time to repairing their credit or when they're attempting to repair their own credit, right? So number four is they overthink the process. They overthink things. They keep asking questions instead of doing and finding out for themselves, right? The credit repair process is fairly easy and should only take you about 30 to 60 minutes when you're doing it. Hold on. Don't use the pen, just use your finger. Some dumbass just commented on one of my posts and said, 100% false, I work in finances. I don't give a fuck. My wife worked in banking, commercial um, lending for a really long time. Like, Well, not commercial for a really long time, but in banking for a really long time. So whatever you're saying doesn't even matter. Um, and they're saying... A bank is willing to lend money to anyone with an instrument to secure a loan or without any proof of ability to pay back. That's not what I even said. And this person isn't even on here, but it's just crazy. Some of the comments I get, like the person trying to say that, oh, you're trying to say that the bank will lend money to anyone. No, I'm on this live right here, right now, trying to get everybody right so that they can be in position to get that bag. So when I show you all something that might seem up, not obtainable or not obtainable, it's because it probably isn't right now, but I'm gonna show you the steps that you need to take and to do so that you can obtain it. So all y'all that's on here that's getting this game, y'all gonna be the ones to help prove me right when y'all get that back. I literally have people, I have people that commented on this post and they went and ran that play and got that back. So, I mean, motherfuckers don't even be reading everything. It's crazy, right? <laughs> so let me, let me move back to where I was at because I'm not in the mood today. Um, so yeah, the credit repair process, when you do it, it should only take you about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I wrote 30 to 60, but 30 to 40 minutes. The first time it might take you 60 minutes. Um, but what you want to do is you want to make sure, you know, you're updating your personal information and all those things, but the credit repair process, the formula, the sauce 
It only take a few minutes to actually execute it, okay? Mm -mm. Someone said, which virtual address is best for funding, please, with EIN only? Never got funding with EIN only. Moving on. Someone said false. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, she's talking about the one person. Um, so here's another thing. This is the fifth mistake that most people make when they're trying to attempt to fix their credit. If they give up after the account is verified. These companies don't automatic like they're in a they're in a financial transaction with the credit bureau. So like think about it. My name is Mikel. I run a suit company. I want to make sure that you pay for your suits, right? So what I do is I have a partnership with TransUnion, Equifax and Experian saying that they will report the history that I report like they will furnish the things that I report to them. So if I say, "Hey, just like rental karma, you guys, like it's literally just your landlord texting saying yes the person paid and now it goes from it goes to that company and then that company transfers that information to the credit reporting agencies the credit bureaus transunion equifax and experian so in order to intimidate a consumer into paying that loan that they shouldn't even be paying anyway but i'm not even going to get into that because i don't get into that but i pay all my bills so the thing is they're going to have a a contract with that company to scare you so they're going to be reporting all of your history so when you have a missed payment it's going to negatively affect your reputation your credit history your credit score everything right these are what these companies do so if i'm in a business transaction you think i don't want the business to keep going i'm going to keep going until i know for sure you're really serious about um you know these disputes and you really show me that you know what's going on I've literally had things removed off of my credit that I disputed the exact same way the month before. Right? He said, correct, I own a data furniture company. Exactly, and I don't even own one, and I'm, you know what I mean, putting it together just how it is. It's just a business, y'all. Like, people, and there's, you heard what he said, data furnishing company, okay? That, he don't look like Experian to me. Right, so what I'm trying to explain to you guys is that these are just regular companies, and sometimes they're just gonna play, some of them, they hold on to the rope longer than others. So you might have to dispute two, three times, and you might even dispute the same exact way. I, I don't know the explanation for it. It's just how these companies move, right? And some a lot of times people will dispute something one time, and they get all up, up in arms. I wish everything I had on my credit report came off the first time, but it didn't. That's not realistic. But what is realistic is that if you don't do it, it's definitely going to stay on there. All right. So, all right, bet. Now I gave y'all five mistakes that people make. What I want to give you guys right now is eight steps to start fixing your credit yourself. Okay. So number one, pull your three bureau credit report. I like to use identity IQ because I basically can read it in my sleep. So when I tell y'all I can teach you how to read a credit report better than the last boy you hired, it's because I really can read Identity IQ in my sleep. And, it, and it's pretty easy to read. Um, Experian is pretty good as well. It's not as easy to read as Identity IQ, but I do find that they do give you a little bit different information that is also um, good information, all right? The explanation is overwhelming. The eOscar system to trigger a deletion. Um, yeah, I'm not really 100% sure what you're saying, but yeah, I think so. Um, I know that in the, when you send your second, wait, I'm not sure what it, what you're saying. Um, number two, you want to update all of your personal information. So I was able to update some personal information by simply going to the bureau's websites and um, I disputed my names and addresses. and Well, not my names. My names were fine. My addresses and employers, right? And what I did was, and I don't know if this works anymore, but I'm just telling you, I went on the website, I disputed it, and they asked me, like, what option am I choosing? And I just put, like, it, this address or it belongs to somebody with a similar name. I didn't say that I never lived there or anything like that. That's not me. And this is because I bought a course and that course taught me that. I never taught that to my students, right? But it did kind of work, right? It worked. 
So I was able to do that. I was also able to call and get some things removed off of my personal information. Um, so I would recommend doing those things first. Like if you have old addresses on there, remove them. If you have misspelled names, definitely remove them. If you have old employers on there, definitely remove them, okay? Um, the third thing you wanna do, what book you think is good to help me better understand consumer law? Um, I have a video on my page. Um, I can't even remember what it's called, but just literally the Fair, um, the Fair Credit Reporting Act. That book is a brown book on Amazon and then the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. Those two with the, my course, you'll be straight. Addresses and angry letters I created for Experian work. Okay. Address and ink. Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. Number three, you want to freeze the secondary bureaus, okay? The secondary reporting agencies, that's what they're called. This is the CoreLogic, LexisNexis, ARS, SageStream. These companies house our information where when you dispute something with the credit bureaus, the credit bureaus ain't even going to the companies. They're going to the secondary reporting agencies, and this is how they're verifying your accounts. So if you freeze and you opt out, like as a consumer, we have the option to opt out of having our information being shared. You, you good? So you can opt out and not, so when these companies are trying to go verify these accounts, they're not able to verify these accounts. I'm not gonna say that they're not able to, it just makes it more difficult. Everything that I talked about, uh, number one, two and number three, what do you are, are about making it more difficult for them to verify these accounts, okay? You, you, you can freeze immediately. Freeze immediately. Um, number four is you want to get organized. You want to make a list. So Dominique always talks about, like, in the beginning, it can be overwhelming if you have a lot of things on your credit report. So you should focus on one bureau at a time. So what I like to do, and we have a workbook that comes in the Credit Essentials Bundle. You want to write it's down. Tool. It's a tool, right? Yes, it's a tool. It's like, a tool for you to use. use trying to help you right a lot of people will just get the bundle and go right to the credit repair section and right try to freaking dm me that's why I, uh, I can't dm anymore right <laughs> instead of just going through all the information and actually utilizing and being resourceful all the things that you got in the bundle right so there's a workbook and in the workbook it has for you to be able to put down all of the negative accounts that you have for per bureau all of the positive accounts that you have all of the inquiries, all of this stuff, right? And use that to to get yourself organized and create a list. Okay, here's all my negative accounts on TransUnion. This is what I need to work on. Being able to visualize it makes it a lot better, you guys, okay? Okay, C360 Wealth Track. See, he, he said he tapped into the videos. Very organized. The tool works. Appreciate you for using it. For real. Um, number. Now I'm on number five. Number five. If you want to study the consumer laws and build your case with evidence, you guys, there's so many consumer laws. So 15 U.S. Code 1681, that's the Fair, um, Fair Credit Reporting Act, okay? And that breaks down all of the laws that you truly, really need to know. But there's like 40 of them on there. There ain't none of y'all about to sit there and read them. Y'all drawn because y'all want things off your credit report, but y'all won't even actually study the actual shit that'll get it off your credit report. There's so many different things, and I haven't read it all the way through. Through, But guess what? I have a clean credit report, mm -hmm. right? I don't have to continuously keep doing research. I choose to do the research well, so that I can help the community. Student, yes. <laughs> like, but you need to study all of that, y'all. You need to study all that. I, and another tip I'll give you is I was, I'm able to get results using the Attorney General website as well, right? You can use the Attorney General website the exact same way you would use the CFPB. The exact same way. You just submit all of your proof of your case. Like, you have to be use, building up a case. Like, people will say, yo, what's the easiest way to remove a late payment? Well, you got to start first, right? The first thing you want to do is you want to try to communicate with them on the phone. Try to communicate with them via email. Try to communicate with them via U.S. mail. Send a... Um, Send a goodwill letter. What's the other thing you could do? You can, um... Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. Wait, can he have the iPad or not yet? Um... 
Yeah, yeah. whatever. My son won't let give me, me give you a... Give me your phone and then you can have the iPad, deal. All right. So... And then I can pull that up for daddy. Now I forget where I was at. You were talking about what else can you do. You were talking about Goodwill letters. Oh, yeah. And so you got to do all that. Those, that's like three things. Call, email, mail. After you do all three of those and they don't remove... They don't... Um, they're not willing to reverse the late payment... Now, the thing is, you got 10 late payments. Who the hell is trying to reverse those for you? Keep it a bean. Who the hell is trying? That account got to go. You got to replace it with and a different the account. the thing is, too, like, if they were, if your late payments were more than two years ago, they might not be <coughs> negatively affecting your overall score. So I always say, if that's the case, like, if your late payments were two plus years ago, leave that account for last. Focus on the other items on your credit report that you know for a fact are negatively affecting your score. Get clean those up, then you can reevaluate and see if, in fact, those late payments are negatively affecting mm. you. More games, see? So, you want to. Um, you after, have to do it all at once. Yeah, after you know? you've done all those things and they don't work, you can do a billing error dispute and try to reach the company like that. If that doesn't work, then you want to go ahead and summarize all of the attempts that you've made to try to communicate with them, and then you want to file a CFPB um, uh, report. Using those consumer laws, 15 U.S. Code 1666B, timing of payments. You can use that law, but you really should be building up your case and trying all of those methods first because now you can say that they ignored you. Mm -hmm. But what are you just going right? Oh, yeah, remove these late payments. Like, yo, it doesn't work like that, you guys. And I literally, in every late payment video I post, I always, like, in, like on Instagram or anything, I always put, here are the sequences for you to be able to remove late payments. And that's, uh, there's a whole sequence and people just don't watch the sequence. Like, they just ignore it. Here, but that's not the first thing I tell you to do. You should exhaust all of the other options first, you guys, okay? So, let me see. Where's that thing at? I'm giving it back to you. Hold on. I'm just trying to find where you were. All right. They made me get off the iPad. So, I'm on, my f I'm on another phone now. I'm about to, um. There you go. See if I can continue. Just hold it that way. Don't hold it sideways. I can't hold it sideways. Right. No, because it puts it in presentation. Okay. So, um, number six is learn how to use the CFPB website. So, um, somebody had commented in the group yesterday, and I don't mind these questions because I'm, I'm down to teach y'all. Um, but someone said uh, a company was doing something crazy to him. Oh, he asked for them to remove something, and obviously the company responded. And then when they responded... They responded with like something goofy, like, you know, we're going to do something else besides what he requested to do. So what I said, um, so what I said was, um, you, if you're, you're having an issue with the way the company dealt with your investigation and the response that they gave you, you can literally go to the CFPB and you can click the option that says, I'm having an issue with an investigation on an account that I disputed. And then it says, what's your issue? And then it, you can put in your issue. Like, it, it got options. Like, my issue is it didn't resolve it or they ignored me. All of these things. And I teach you how to utilize the CFPB. But the truth is, if you have the mindset to understand, okay, I'm not just going to be a robot and just follow the cookie cutter method. I'm going to actually go to the website and look at it and see if, I can tailor my complaint to my exact situation. If it's a late payment and you done reached out to the company, like we've been able to remove a late payment off of Dominique's report that wasn't supposed to be on there because the company had an issue with their um, auto pay system, right? So we did all of the things that I told y'all. But, and that's the thing too. Like, when How you gonna cut me off before I get to Sorry, I was gonna say when companies make mistakes, they're not gonna take, I don't wanna, um, right. I don't have makeup on in my hair. Um, we, they're not going to take ownership for f screwing up. Correct. They're just not. So you have to step into that power and take, like, tell them what it is, mm -hmm. you know, like, right. and you have to know how to do that. Right. And that's what the CFPB will allow you to do. Like I yes. said, we tried to do all of the other options that I talk about first in the sequence to remove late payments. But once they ignored all those things, then I used the CFPB and they was able to get the thing fixed in less than 24 hours. Okay. Yeah, I don't teach people to do police reports. Um, no, 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 no. That's, that's a little um, out of pocket. I'm not sure if you're saying to do that or not because your message got cut off, but I hope that you're not. 
Yeah, don't, don't we definitely do don't those. do that. That's risky. We don't do that. No, no, no. The law states you don't even have to do that. No, now, it might hard. work, but it might also be in jail. Yeah, they're not required. Um, And my folks is not going to jail because if they go to jail, I'm not coming to see them. I'm not sending nothing because I told y'all not to. All right, bet. So number seven is you want to add credit builder accounts. So as you're working on your credit or even if you have somebody else working on your credit, right? You want to be adding credit builder accounts. So I have one student who she was able to clean off a bunch of things off of her credit report. But now her score on the one bureau isn't it's like nothing. And it's because she needs to start building her own credit up. So would you? Oh, so I can't read your entire comment, Mo Green. So you would have to like break it up because it broke. It, it cut it off. I, I don't really. You can message Dominique and maybe she'll read it and then I can read it. But yeah, I can't really. What was the question about? <laughs> um, no, y'all distracting me now. Y'all distracting me now. I'm trying to give y'all these steps, man. So now these credit builder accounts, self lender, grain, boom pay, secured loans, secure credit cards. You need to get about five to six of them joints. Right? So get the rental karma, get the boom, get the um self, get the uh the grain, and then get the uh what's the other one? Uh credit strong. You can get credit strong. Back in the day they had like my jewelers club and things like that that'll add you a five thousand dollar primary, but now they don't. So you have to get these primary accounts. And then what I you want to go to a credit union, you guys. So right now, a lot of our people have been getting the bag from Digital Federal Credit Union. Hmm. Hold on, let me see. Cuz they they blocked me from being able to, you mean? Okay. Here we go. We got okay. this is just yesterday, Dan Fang. Thanks for the tips. We'll be applying for the business credit shortly. Okay. But he was approved on the personal side for 25 racks from Navy Federal, right? This shit be happening all day long now, you guys. Uh, rent reporters is what he mean. Yes. So and so now because everybody in our group getting Navy Fed and getting the bag, everybody doing it, bro. Everybody doing it. Everybody in the group going crazy on it. On what? On Navy Federal. Yeah, so Navy... Everybody. Navy Federal's great because they will help people even if your credit isn't amazing yet. Like, the better your credit is, the more you'll get approved for. But if your credit isn't where you need it to be, like, start off with their secured card. Their secured card is great. We have somebody actually in our group that in, like, three months, I want to say, like, got increases on the secured card. Mm -hmm. And then they, gra like, Navy Fed emailed him and said that they moved him away from the secured card and made it an unsecured card. Right. Their pledge loans are great, like lots of good. And then we have, um, we got another one, Millionaire May. She was able to run through Truist, right? I know y'all know Millionaire May. She was able to run through Truist. So what I'm trying to tell y'all is when it comes to building up your credit report, there's there's a couple specific banks you want to go to. You want to go to Digital Federal Credit Union. You want to go to Navy Federal Credit Union, Dover Federal Credit Union, and Truist, what I just showed y'all. And they will give you higher limits than the average bank when you first are, you know, getting credit and things like that. So that when it comes for you to go get business credit or whatever it is, you already have high limits. You know what I'm saying? And those high limits are going to help you with the utilization. Let's say you get a 25K credit card. Well, now you can actually spend a little bit on that $3,000 card, right? I got three Navy yep. Fed 75K cards after the pledge loan. Yep. Exactly. So you could get your secure loan, the pledge loan at Navy Federal. This is going to help you to build relationships. Yeah, because you're build. Sorry, you're building that internal score, which is building the relationship with Navy Fed. Yes, that is correct. Um, where was I at? And then the last one, you guys. And these are just tips to help you to start repairing your credit yourself. All these things we teach inside of our course, you guys. Right. So. Now, number eight is you want to add authorized user trade lines if you need to. This is going to be something to help you to build age on your credit report. So let's say, you know, you had Capital One, Discover, X, Y, and Z, and you had to delete those. Well, if you got those right out of college, those probably would be the accounts on your credit report that held the longest age. So now what you're going to have to do is 
remanufacture that age and an authorized user will allow you to do that so let me give y'all a little a little game on how to get it so you can go to your family members right you can go to your friends associates but you have to come so correct you have to educate them right the, the way we were able to get authorized user trade lines added to our report was i went to my mom i educated on her on credit she didn't know anything about utilization um because that was the only thing that she had on her credit that was messing her up never missed a payment in her life all positive accounts um but she didn't know that utilization is 30 percent of your credit score and that affects you tremendously so we were able to teach her that and at the same time looking at her report i'm like all right you got to work on this card work on this card but these are good and then i explained to her that she could add us as authorized users since we were working on building our credit and repairing it that it would help us to increase our score and because she I, I was able to educate her she had no pushback right and i've taught many other people how to do this and go get family members to add them because they can educate them and a lot of times uh like some of my friends i had do this with their uncles and stuff then the uncles calling me like yo um i'm about to retire i had one uncle he was in the military he said he was about to retire a veteran but he knew that his salary was going to dip or his income was going to dip tremendously and he was looking for a way to supplement his income. He said he was going to be making, he was going to lose like 40% of his income on a monthly. So uh, I explained to him that he could broker out those trade lines that he has, that he was about to let his nephew on. He could broker out them. He had 60K um, American Express joints. He could broker them out for $500 for every 60 days. He got multiple of those, right? Now he don't got to worry about where that money going to be coming from. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's a new business for someone selling AUs. Exactly. Once, once your credit is fixed, it's literally going to open so many doors for you to make additional income. Right. You just have to know how to leverage it the right way. Mm -hmm. Like imagine like like imagine like having your credit card maxed out and you're like, you know what? I'm going to pay it off. And then you automatically just start letting people get on as trade lines. Mm -hmm. You just get the money right back. Yep. That's crazy. That's crazy. I haven't been reading y'all comments because I want to make sure I get through this before my parents come out. Tradelinesupply.com. Tradelinesupply.com. There you go. Or you can go to a family member. Yep. So the three main laws that we use when disputing, and we teach you guys, right? Tradeline supply. Um, negative accounts. Um, we use 15 U.S. Code 1681I, C2. So collections, charge-offs, um, inquiries, pretty much any negative account. Child support. That's the law we've used, okay? And for late payments, uh, like I said, there's a whole sequence, but the law that you would use would be 15 U.S. Code 1666B, which speaks on timing of payment, but there's also more laws that you can use, such as permissible purpose. Um, basically, anything on your credit report should not be reporting on your credit report without your consent. So if I'm verbally telling you I do not consent, now I can... Um, insert permissible purpose into my dispute in the future because i literally clearly clear as day conspicuously let you know that i do not consent to you reporting this information on my credit report okay so guys that is the end of the class i gave y'all five mistakes that 90 percent of people make when they're trying to fix their credit and then i also gave you eight steps to begin fixing your credit also gave you some of the laws to begin fixing your credit now, if you want to take this to the next level, use the coupon code DM and you will be able to save $13 off of any of our courses. Um, the, the most popular course is our Credit Essentials Bundle because it's deep. It's deep. But there's more. If you're somebody who's like, you know, I want to get into entrepreneurship. I don't really know exactly what to do. I see so much fluff online. We have a Tell course okay. that is $97. It's called the five days to freedom course. It's basically like a, a Kickstarter to like entrepreneur. It's, it's really the basics of entrepreneurship. You know what I mean? Like it's going to teach you about it's the foundation, everything. Yeah. The foundation, the foundation. Mm -hmm. your mindset, becoming the bank, being able to fund yourself, understanding how to make passive income and make active income. See a lot of the gurus on here be talking about passive income. Like, your twelve, your two grand a month is not going to feed me like passive income, 
or your four grand a month is not going to feed me, right? Like, I need four four grands a month, like, or, or ten four grands a month. So, for that to work out, like, I'm not saying it can't work out, but... I like to eat. It's shit, really, you <laughs> mean, like, I... My students be getting Tell, a bag, bro. Do you, so have I the, just, do you have the screenshot from the girl that did the ebook thing? Oh, I do, I do, that? I do, I do, I that. do. So here we go. So we also have an ebook course, right? So here's one of our members. She was able to go, like, we teach a lot of this, you guys. Like, in our Five Days to Freedom, we teach you how to create digital products. Um, in our social media profits bundle. That's, that's our foundation. Yes. Is helping people to create something for themselves you know <laughs> so um i um our social media profits teaches you how to grow your business online like literally all the links in my link tree will benefit you some way somehow mm -hmm. just depends on where you are on your journey now here's somebody she went through our ebook class back in um i think october or september and actually she was in the summer she started teaching people how to um, I guess grow their trucking businesses, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't see it good here, but the one she has multiple posts that are over a hundred thousand views, right? On TikTok. on TikTok, okay. She was able. She has what twenty five hundred followers on there right now. Mm -hmm. Not bad, mm -hmm. but the amount of views she's getting on the um. Let me see. Here we go. We got eighteen k, one hundred and one k, sixty one k, like. Do you understand the amount of, like, exposure that is bringing to her business? And now she knows how to create digital products, ebooks, okay. courses, and she uh, getting bread. She getting paid. Well, she, that was what the testimonial was about. So Real quick. So she said um, after that in the comments, she said, thank you, guys. I'm so grateful to have found you both online. I took action and was not only able to. with you what results your students are getting after taking your courses wow and was that this lady here with the, yeah, with the box she, truck mm -hmm. so she did credit and the ebook yep her credit her wow credit, and now she's making money and it's crazy because like on holidays when we, we used to we don't run sales like that no more but on holidays we would be running those sales and people would purchase like every product because it was so cheap like 30 dollars or whatever every product and it's crazy to see where they are today it's crazy to see where our students are today. Like, I tell Dominique that all the time. Like, like just last night, I'm looking like it's only March. Mm -hmm. And the amount of testimonials and reviews and breakthroughs we've been having, it's crazy. Here we go right here. Yesterday, Felicia. Felicia's the one who always comments on my posts, too, on IG. Wow, the sauce is working. More inquiries and collections deleted. Can't wait to see my updated scores. Do you see how many deletions she has right there, y'all? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 4. You know what I'm saying? It's really lit. It's really, 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 really lit. And I say, you know, damn, like, like I can't believe, you know, this. But in all reality, this is exactly how me and Dom, like, this shit is on our vision board right now. Okay. So I showed y'all somebody else um, got approved for 25K from Navy Fed. Here's another head that got approved for 25K from Navy Fed. Yes, they did. Um, I have somebody on. that's sitting in the um, the approval thing. For the group? Uh -huh. It says, thanks to the Bennett's, my credit score jumped 51 points with Experian, and I was also approved for $5,000 on my cash rewards card. I'm so happy that this is only the beginning. We done five, four, 20. Yeah. You feel me? The people lit. He got approved for cash rewards with a credit score of a 649. So, like, wow. it's just mm -hmm. showing that, like, the when right. you actually learn how to leverage your credit, you can get approvals. Five racks off the bat. Mm -hmm. Five racks off the bat. I remember when I was, when we were working on fixing up our credit and stuff, and then, like, Dominique would get, like, I remember, I think it was, like, Discover gave her, like, four or six, and we was just so hyped to get four or six. And, you know, just been up from there. So, like, I know those that feeling that person is probably feeling right now, man. It's crazy. Um. So, yeah, guys, once again, if you use the coupon code DM, because I'm tired of y'all DMing me, which is why I can't DM. send any messages for the next 21 hours, right? I can't for the next 21 hours because y'all keep DMing me these questions when I tell y'all ask me in a group because I will answer it. 
at some within 24 hours we're going to answer the questions okay ourselves for now and i mean a lot of y'all don't be action takers like i'm a freaking action taker like i i can't associate like i can't sympathize with somebody who's not an action taker all of the information is there all of the information is clear and laid out and then if it's not ask a question in the group i have a 771 on two bureaus and a 766 on two bureaus but I've been so nervous to apply. Girl, you better go get that cash rewards. It's Gabrielle talking about something. She's been nervous to get the cash rewards. What the hell? You better go get that. Make sure you build your just, relationship. And just um, do the pre-approval. Yeah. You do do the, it at night. It's a pre-approval. They'll let you know. So if you do the pre-approval, if you're a member of Navy Fed, you do the pre-approval, they're going to let you know what cards you're approved for, like pre-approved, right? And then if they say that you approve for the green, John, on the bottom... Or the gray one that everybody been the gray one look like it been blessing people like clearly right. Mm -hmm. So uh, wait till around two o'clock at night and apply. Mm -hmm. You'll be coming out with the bag. I know that's true. I don't even remember what mine was when I applied, but literally it was my first like real credit card. <laughs> they didn't even um yeah. Who? Um, let me see. Here we go. I can't even read this whole testimonial here. S Hello, I know you don't know me, but reaching out to you to let you know that your wife has helped me tremendously with my credit. I went from a 489 to a 605. Um, my transunion went up 118 points. And I can't see the rest because of the comments, but. Oh, they said that where? In my thing. Um, and I have no collections on any credit bureaus anymore. That's the goal, y'all. I had the most collections in the world. The most charge-offs in the world. Every, every retail store that had a card, Mikhail had it. So I'm <laughs> I'm super confident in being able to help y'all. That's why I come out here and I shout this shit from the top. You feel me? From the mountaintop. All I know. I'm going to try it. I'll come back with my results. I already have the end rewards and they already gave me a limit. Yeah! Um... Now, if you got the end rewards within, like, the last 90 days, I might wait. But do the pre-approval and see what they're saying. Mm -hmm. That will never hurt. I can't read the rest of this whole thing. But, yeah, we were able to help her clean up her personal credit and get right. And, guys, don't think I ain't been helping a lot of these celebrities, too. A lot of y'all favorite rappers. A lot of y'all favorite singers. Yes, a lot of y'all favorite loving hip-hoppers. Yes. Athletes. It's a lot of y'all favorite... Yo, I literally was playing with a boy in Madden that hit me up the other day and got in our course. And he was trash on Madden. I was heated because I lost the league. But, yo, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I've been having the Red Navy card for almost six months. But I haven't done anything with the card. My score is 500. What is the Red Navy card? The Red Navy card that I'm familiar with it's is the debit, debit card, card. Which is not a credit card. It's not a credit card. Um, got it? We're going to improve my score. So, yeah, just uh, tap in, tap in, tap in. You missed the class so far, but tap into my information, our, our course. You can get it right now for $13 off. The reason it's $13 off is I wanted to give y'all a $10 off coupon since Instagram is being gimmicky with me. And my mom's birthday is the 3rd of March. So I figured $13 off, add three for her, 10 for me. Y'all straight. I'm giving y'all something that's going to be able to change your, your whole life. Like, I'm literally... Uh, I had somebody. The coupon, code again. the coupon code is DM. Could y'all keep DMing me? Like direct <laughs> DM. It's it's pinned right there. But I had somebody who he bought our course last year towards the end of the year. He fixed it up. He was able to remove inquiries in less than a week. Then he was able to remove negative items. And he just was messaging me yesterday saying, "Yo, honestly, I done took off with this credit shit. I'm over here. I'm charging clients." I'm doing X, Y, and Z. Ask me like a quick question. And like it warmed my heart because that's exactly how it should go. I'm giving you the thing that will set you free is high income earning skill sets. I'm giving you the skill set now. I'm giving you a college degree basically where that you can step out into the marketplace and immediately be making money and immediately be changing people's lives because the more people's life you change, that's why the people in the credit influencer make so much money and will continue to make so much money is because we teach that if you don't care about the people it's not gonna work 
it's not going to work. Like you have to be so selfless and because these people is, they don't even care about us. Right. People don't, don't even, even care, care about, about us. They don't even care about themselves half the time. They dehumanize us. We tell you, look, I got a group, a community, 1,300 people where you can ask questions. Even when people purchase, they got the email there for if you got people still DM. My son's sick, got a fever. They don't care. Yo, I, I tried to I tried to DM you, bro. You didn't. That's you, you feel me? So I'm giving you a skill set right now that you can literally and immediately step into the marketplace and begin making income and changing your life. With the skill sets that we teach, you can make more than you would make by going to college for four years. For sure. Should I went to college? Mikhail asked me the other day, he's like, so how does it feel to know that you make more money than the people you used to work with that have been in banking for years and years and years? Like, it's just crazy. And it's all because of high income skill sets. Yes. My goal is to be able to teach it to you guys one piece at a time. I got a personal Navy Fed account. When should I apply for credit cards? So I just explain that to the, to the, to the boy. Um, there's a lot that comes into when you should apply for the credit cards. Your score, um, your internal relationship. your internal relationship with them. Do you have other products with them? Mm -hmm. Things of that nature. But you apply at two o'clock at night if your score is good. I also have a Navy mm -hmm. Fed hat class. Like if you have Navy Federal account, we have a class, and or or it's not a class, it's a course where I have my own section where I cover how I got in the Navy Fed. Um, the way I went about building my relationship. And my wife has one, a section where she talks about how she built her relationship. And the reason that there's two sections is because we're two different people. I never worked like that. She had a job at the time. She had the benefit of putting direct deposit. I did not. Things like that. Her score was higher than mine, I believe. She had higher limit credit cards already. I had just, I got the, the self lender and the secure card. You feel me? I didn't think I had a security card. I think I just had all. So, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I had self, rental karma. Um, and it was self. Wasn't it the installment loan first? Like, yeah, but I had both. Had, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, mm -hmm. I teach y'all exactly what we did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you help people who never have credit history? So, if you've never had credit history yet. So, there's a section inside of my course that says building personal credit. And that's going to teach you those things that I was just speaking about is you need to start adding credit builder accounts to your profile. You need to start going to go get credit, mm -hmm. right? And I tell you some of the best places to go and get credit to start out and for starters. One thing you want to look out for is you don't want to be getting hard inquiries. You don't want to be applying for these big name credit cards if you don't have no credit history. Because it's just going to be an inquiry and a waste and it's going to discourage we teach, you. We teach you how to create a strategy. Yes. And how to think in that way. And uh, you also, in the bundle, you get our access to our Credit Builder Pro ebook, and that and will group. also teach you how to do that. Yeah. So I'm going to hop off for now, guys. Um, it's been great hanging out with y'all. Thank you for vibing with me. My pop's still ain't out. Hopefully, he's doing good. But Weston's getting hungry, so got to do something about that. My name is Mikhail Bennett, you guys. Thank you for tapping in. Remember, you can use coupon code DM to get $13 off until noon tomorrow. Eastern time. Afternoon, we back on, we back on full throttle, baby. But I hope that some of you guys were able to get some gain, some inspiration, some motivation, and some education off of this live stream today. So once again, my name is Mikael Bennett. I'll see you guys at the top and definitely not from the top. Take it easy, you guys.